Hey there magic one, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. I hope you're having a really blessed week so far. I am currently working on the April monthly readings. I believe I have half of them done now. I'll pop the playlist up here for you and I'll be dropping the rest really soon as well. Uh, should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself, I'm always available for those. And that is the first link down below there for you to head across to my website and you can check out what I offer. Keep in mind that the doors are always open to the initiation. That is my immersive learn tarot journey. If you would like to learn my signature process for putting it all together and delivering a powerful reading. Uh, you can find me on social media. I am on Facebook and I'm also on Instagram. But use the link for Instagram down below because it is a fake account which, can you believe it, has more followers than me. So um, just to make sure you get the right one, if you use the one below, then you definitely, you definitely will. Uh, hit subscribe for me if you don't mind. Yes, that supports my channel. I think that's a great energy exchange between us and um, I will keep the, the readings coming from my heart, from my soul for you guys uh, in return. Uh, don't forget to like, share and comment. That's also a great support as well. Well, for now, I am wishing you so much love and magic for your week ahead. Do take care. Bye for now. Welcome to your tarot reading for April 11th to the 17th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Leo. I have three for your recent past, three for your focus energy, three for the future outcome, oracles, elite tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. We've got the sacred creator oracle, the moonology oracle, the moon child and star child tarot, and I'm using the radiant right away. Uh, also to let you know, Leo, that we have the full moon in Libra on the 17th. And this can be quite an intense energy. Um, the full moon is when things can kind of come to a climax, come to a head. And we have this Libra energy, which is associated with justice, with truth, with fairness, with balance. So you could be experiencing the kind of peak of a situation around that time. Uh, Leo, I apologize about my voice. I am recovering from the virus. I do sound a lot worse than what I am. I have taken quite a lot of time off but there does come a time too where I need to get back to work and um, I have missed doing the tarot reading so much so here I am. So Leo I guess what I'm seeing here is I am seeing I am seeing predominantly a love situation. We've got the ace of cups, two of cups, ten of cups. We also have a lot of people in this mix here so I feel that there is more people involved here. We will get to that. I'm going to start with the oracles. The first one is a simple reminder, Leo, you are epic, you are stardust, you're a spiritual being having an earthly experience, so do not forget that. The next one out is integrate your knowing, okay, and we see the fox here. It's kind of saying that what you might be feeling intuitively or what you've picked up with your keen senses um, is, is, is correct, okay, so you can, you can trust that and it is now time for you to integrate your knowing, it is now time for you to take action, it is now time for you to move ahead. We've got meditate and contemplate, you may have been thinking about this for some time, you may be wanting to share your heart with somebody, express your feelings for somebody and the cards are saying well integrate your knowing, maybe it's reciprocal and it's time to move ahead. Ten of Cups is the lead energy and it also appears in your reading. So it feels like this is why you are feeling that strong intuition because there really is something here. The Ten of Cups is a situation that can really go to the higher levels of happiness and satisfaction and joy and contentment. It is a blessed life energy. So it feels like that's where you can get to with the situation. However, and there's always a however, it feels at the moment you are feeling stuck or trapped in some way. Now, for the majority of you, I feel this is because you are in a connection or your person is in a connection, okay? It's a general reading, remember, so it can go either way here. And this is often the, the case with adult relationships. Sometimes we're not happy in our relationships, but we wait till something better comes along. 
The Eight of Swords is this feeling of, okay, well, I can't really move forward, but it is perceived stress or perceived entrapment because actually you could. It would just take some decisions or some really maybe some tricky conversations, King of Swords, but ultimately you have free will and you can decide either way, Leo. So let's jump in. I've got the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, I am feeling a little bit of a love triangle situation or that one of you is in a connection. Hey, maybe both of you are in a connection here. I've got sort of two partnerships going on. So I feel that there really is something to be explored here, but it needs to be done with fairness, with diplomacy. Otherwise, with that justice full moon coming, this really could become something, um, you know, this really could become a dispute is what I'm feeling. But with the Two of Cups here, it feels like there is a soul connection, a soul partnership here. It may be that one of you is in a very um, functional practical relationship at the moment maybe because of um, nurturing children or because of financial reasons with the queen of pentacles but this new opportunity this new love is offering you the passion and the spark and the enthusiasm that has basically left your current relationship okay i'm feeling like somebody who is very intensely passionate who is very exciting has come in of course, you know, when we're considering leaving one relationship for another, we have to make sure that there really is all the other things there as well, you know, that you really do have common interests and, you know, that you want to share the same vision. But with the Ten of Cups, I'm feeling that there is multiple ingredients to this connection rather than just the chemistry, okay? And we also need to obviously go about this the right way because I feel like there is other partners involved. So I've got the Ace of Wands, the King of Swords, and the King of Cups here this week. And with this Aquarian energy, I mean, I'll, I'll call out the signs actually for you. Leo, I've got Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius, and Scorpio. With the King of Swords, it's time for you to make a decision here and communicate that, okay? As hard as that is going to be, that is the right way around to do things here it's important for you to see the big picture and really understand the implications of this. But it feels with the Ace of Wands that you can feel there's so much potential in this new connection that it's it's too big an opportunity for you to pass up, okay? It feels like the love of a lifetime. It's going to be important for you to stay grounded and emotionally intelligent throughout this. That's what the King of Cups would do. It's about off, um, operating with intuition, with heart, with empathy, um, and really considering the feelings of all parties here, okay? But the Ace of Wands is a situation that can grow, it can develop, it's full of potential, potential it's full of passion, but it's time to obviously consider the severing of ties, getting unstuck, otherwise we are going to create a third party situation here. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups in the outcome. There is a real fear here of the Five of Pentacles and that is um, separating a home situation, being left out in the cold, separating assets, being left without money. But when we do want to, um, you know, separate a relationship like, that, like this, that is part of it and you will recover from that. But we also can't stay in situations that are not working for us just because of the security, just because of the money, just because of the stability. So it feels like the Five of Pentacles needs to be experienced or is a gateway to get to the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. So there most definitely could be a temporary period of reduced finances, um, temporary accommodation and that kind of thing here. And that could actually be a block for you wanting to engage with this person anyway. But I feel that this is not going anywhere, as in, as in this is not going to go away. So it's best for you to take the right route of sorting this out, okay? Because what is on offer is the Ace of Cups. And this feels like a love that can really fulfill you on so many different levels that can transform not only you but your life in some way and lead to the ten of cups which is a huge blessing it is a best life energy it is 
ultimate happiness. It is an incredible energy, okay, but it's going to obviously come at a at an initial cost. And that's the nine of cups. <laughs> so the cards are just saying all over this is it's what you've wished for, basically. It's what you've wished for, but there's always something to give up in order to gain. And that takes real strength and courage. So I really hope that you make the right decision for you, Leo, and I'm going to wish you all the best with this. This is a, a shorter reading this week just because my voice just isn't, um, isn't up for the long readings, unfortunately, but I do hope that next week I will be back on peak form. So uh, don't forget to drop me a comment if you're cool to share. I read them all, try to connect with you all over there. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you back here next week for another reading. Bye for now.